Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the one and only crypto enthusiast, Light Liger here, and today we're gonna be looking into another crypto wallet. This one is called Exodus, which is available on desktop, Android, and also on iOS. It's hands down my favorite multi-coin wallet, and you will understand soon why? And I've been using this for a very, very long time. They have been offering a very great service. They're updating their wallet every two weeks. So there has been a new influx of new feature, visual changes, and many new coins and tokens being supported. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to log into the service. So there's a password protection to it, obviously. And then there's a seed key in case you uh, your computer gets wiped out or something. So you can uh, put it on your phone or something else. And basically, Exodus is uh, a multi-coin wallet, as I mentioned. It supports many, many different coins and tokens right now. And we're going to be looking into those first. So that obviously the biggest interest is what coins exactly it is supporting. So one of the things we see obviously here in the start is the amazing layout that they have going on. There's different skins actually available, which we're gonna be looking at later, but this is the default skin basically. And here it shows us uh, the ping wheel where it's basically showing all the tokens and coins that we have and the full amount in dollar is also showing us how much this amount has changed in the last 24 hours. What was our highest balance? We can like see uh, also the monthly and daily things. These are very interesting metrics and very useful for uh, many traders who are really liking to um, have an understanding of their overall value of their assets and also like this best 24 asset and worst 24 assets is actually very ridiculous that Bitcoin SV is still a thing. Also, there's a transactions tab, which shows us all the transactions that have be coming out. So I have some EOS dividends here, uh, Tron staking rewards, Bitcoin, many, many things are listed here. And it goes on for a very, very long time. I don't know what exactly is the last date, but every time you log in, it's basically showing out all the latest transactions. And you can also name them. You can put some uh, details, personal notes. So you can uh, write in here to have a better understanding where this came from. We can write dividend. And here on the transaction tab, it shows us the, uh, the text that we chose, which is a very, very nice feature, something that nobody else is actually supporting. And let's go to the actual wallet proportion here. So what we could do is basically scroll down and show all the assets that are supported. So there is a wide variety of different Ethereum tokens on the chain. There is uh, obviously not an option to add custom tokens, but if obviously custom tokens are being sent to this Ethereum wallet, they are still existing in your wallet. You just have to log into MetaMask or another third party uh, with your private key, which you can uh, get out from Exodus, which we're gonna be looking into later on. And I've enabled a lot of the tokens and coins that I obviously hold. There's Binance chain support. All the popular Bitcoins are here, minus Bitcoin Diamond. We could argue that it's not really that big. Uh, BitTorrent token is here. It's the only Tron one that they have. I believe Win is also here or, or is going to be added. Uh, we have a lot of big altcoins, Decree, Digibuy, Dash, Ethereum. Both Ethereums are here, Ethereum Classic. Uh, we have Litecoin, obviously, Monero was added recently, the very latest patch was Nano. And that was very nice because the idea of multi-coin wallets or wallets in general, it's very inconvenient to download a, a, a wallet for every single coin that you hold. So more than multi-coin wallets came out and support like multiple coins, you need less wallets, which means less space on your computer or Android. And it's also easier for get anybody to use Nano now that it's on Exodus. If somebody's Exodus user, they are more prone and likely to maybe purchase Nano now because they have a wallet. So there's a lot of hassle and usability when it comes to multi-coin wallets. So you, when you're launching a new coin, it's very important to list into a multi-coin wallet for many benefits. And there's Neo, there's uh, Neo Gas, and NEM. There's many, many, many coins. Raven coin is here. Basically every large coin is supported on their wallet. There's also support for, um, let's say we take EOS. 
And here we can see also the transaction here on the tab, but we also are able to use the memo systems and stuff like this on very popular coins which are needing memo like Stellar or Ripple, and which is very nice. And there's obviously the personal note. It also calculates us um, the amounts. In case of EOS, there's the advanced tab which shows us the RAM and the CPU and the net things. There are these specific things uh, for certain coins. I think they're going to be adding maybe things in the future, like able to vote for delegates on Tron or other chains for in terms of ontology. Um, we can use also this uh, claim thing. So you can claim gas and you can claim Neo um, uh, in, in this wallet. So this is very uh, convenient for me because I used to have my ontology on different wallets uh, before and I've been just slowly moving everything to Exodus basically as they have started to support many different tokens and here we can see uh, the transaction sound I love that coin coin thing and that's pretty much for the wallet so I absolutely think that there's a very very high roster of different wallets supported here which are very very good um, there's also the backup thing. We talked about the password, the 12 word recovery phase. There is an exchange system. It is somewhat limited. There is a certain amount of coins are, that are supported here. And there's some, I think this is using simplex. So uh, you need an actual high amount. So as you can see, uh, well, this is not a good example. Let's say Bitcoin as we want to uh, put all in. And it has uh, a quite high minimum, so this is not necessarily the best swapping system, but it's nice to have. I think something that Exodus could do in the future is definitely adding a feature of a decentralized exchange. That's what Kamado is doing. That's what a lot of wallets are trying to do eventually, becoming the decks of their own. Obviously, there's some legal hassles there, which they don't wanna, might want to touch, but I would argue that that is a very, very good move to do. Um, let's go back into, well, there's localization. So when you go in and log in, you can choose any type of a currency. doesn't actually have all the currencies, but probably the most dominant ones. And we talked about the teams. I think these are very nice. I don't know if there's custom ones. Um, I think this is the origin one. Let's see the textures. Uh, I'm not very into these one, to be honest. I don't, I don't think this look very nice. So we're gonna use just the, what is the normal one? How can we actually, the skins, vessel, aurora, deep space, dust sky, matrix. Okay, that's clever. Uh, change now and uh, changely are obviously a bit of a partners here. If you're a dash fan, decreed, crypto space. I think we're gonna go with aurora actually. I think this is quite nice. And there's security, there's hardware support. So Trezor is now supported by um, Exodus. And let's take a big quick look at the control. So what do you need to do? Control Shift D will open the developer uh, thing. So in here, you can do stuff like with Bitcoin. Um, you can sweep your wallets. So, you know, basically when the forks happen, you can sweep the wallets if there's some Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV on them. It's a very, very nice feature. It's a very secure way to also do it because as we know, some of these uh, fork swaps can be, well, unsafe and they might be stealing your private keys. So it's always wise to, um, you know, store them in a good place. But basically in this whole system, you can see every private key for every coin that is supported by this is all the base coins that they're supporting right now, plus all the Ethereum tokens and uh, the Tron tokens, basically. And I don't actually know why BitTorrent is there as, as separate. Well, whatever. And there's a window feature. There's a data folders, notifications on when you get a payment sounds, windows, you know, show it. Was it showing? Well, it should show. Yeah, okay. The Monero thing actually requires you to have a lot of uh, things. So the Monero balance will not always show if, if you have, you know, too low amount of space in your PC, just so you know. But um, that is pretty much my rundown of Exodus. If you are looking for a wallet that is pretty much supporting all the popular coins and tokens, 
um, Exodus is way to go. I think uh, their you know fast pace of updates have been very terrific. It's hands down visually probably the best wallet. I think in terms of just browsing the system, something that we didn't look about the 30 day trend showing all of these important information, the minus, the plus on um, market caps, all of this information without having to go to going market cap or going gecko is very convenient. It's kind of like having everything in one place except the DEX thing, obviously. But as for wallets go, it's pretty secure. It has a support for majority of the coins. It just needs a couple of adjustments to some of these altcoins that are there. So I would like to have delicate voting for Tron, maybe delicate voting for ARC as well. A couple of these things could be added there. Some staking features, staking supports, and maybe cold, uh, cold support, cold, uh, gold staking, things like these probably would be uh, good things to have in the future if they're adding things like Callisto or Tezos at some point uh, to the support. And also they do have you know social media sites, they have a Slack channel with a lot of developers who are helping with every problems that you may have. But that's pretty much my rundown of Exodus. You can always read the latest uh, version stuff also from the wallet itself. A pretty new feature, by the way. And it's also available on Android and iOS. However, not all the assets are on Android and iOS, by the way. I think some are not there. And maybe some feature like ontology gas claiming may not be available. And I had some problems of not all funds being shown on the wallet. Maybe I haven't refreshed it. I have to give it a try. But I think the, the, the um, uh, desktop version is by far the best one that you can choose. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked my content, you can always tip me. Some money goes a long way so I can create more content. And as always, I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.